Welcome back to the girl cave. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nothing on the floor, a clear surface, and another clean surface. Well, half of it, but it's progress. <laughs> I also want to mention that some of you have reached out to me saying that you are going to do the same, tackling just one section at a time in just 10, 15, 20 minutes. That's it. And it does make a difference. It does make a difference. It's so quick. Your focus, uh, you saw me, if I come across something that I'm not really sure, I just put a, make a little pile. And when I get to that pile, I'll deal with it. But the most important thing is to focus on just that one little task. And for me, yesterday, it was to clear that area right there. And the day before, it was to clear this and put away the paint that I had on the floor. So just short, quick goals. And it's doable. It's doable and it gives you such a sense of accomplishment and it just makes you want to continue and do more. So for today, I'm going to set the timer. I don't know, I think 10 minutes. I keep saying that, right? Oh, just 10 minutes. All I need to do is put away all of these things for my die cutting. Uh, those are my scraps. So I just wanna tackle this little area today and I think 10 minutes will be more than enough. We'll see. I know I said that yesterday and, and I needed a little bit more time, but 10 minutes I think will be more than sufficient. I'm gonna go set up the camera on that side. It's not gonna be a perfect angle. Like I saw that yesterday, half my face was gone, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. <laughs> um, it's hard because that's where I keep my camera right there. And it's, I don't wanna move it. Like it's just not worth the, the trouble. Um, but I think I can, film myself right there putting away my things let me move the camera okay so i have a trash bag and the first thing that i'm gonna do is collect my trash that i keep right here you get a real close up of me sorry <laughs> i apologize <laughs> but that's where i keep my little trash bag which is just a gift bag and i hang it from the camera mount by my desk. I love it because it's small, although it does hold quite a bit. And whenever I go to a crop, I just fold it up and take it with me. It fits perfectly in my little travel bag. All right, so that's gonna be that. Let me put it back. I don't want to keep like a large trash bag or trash can there because I know myself and I would fill it up and that's not what I want. Okay, this goes here. Push it there. And then these are leftover papers, like six by what is that? Six by four, six by five? Four and a half by six and a half. Like a tag mat. I was using it. I'm done with it. I'm going to put it away. And then this one I normally kept here, but I've used up all the ones that I, that I wanted to. And then the ones that are left are very tropical. So I'm going to put this with my beach kit, which sits over there. So I will put those away and now there's more trash here I'm just gonna pick up the big ones because I'm gonna sweep did I set the timer no hey Google set a timer for 10 minutes okay all right and then okay so I have lots of scraps here and let's see, some of them I will throw away and then some of them I like to keep for when I die cut things. That's garbage. That's garbage. Okay, so like I don't keep them here because I don't like to micromanage my supplies because if I start keeping certain things here for this purpose and then the other scraps here for this other purpose, then it becomes too much and I don't remember where I have things. 
this I can throw it. So I just like to keep all my scraps together. So I have a 12 by 12 sheet protector for the longer, the bigger pieces, and then the smaller pieces go inside it as well, but in an eight and a half by eleven sheet. And that way, if I'm looking for scraps for a, a page or to create die cuts, I know where they are. I don't need to be going through several places. Then I have purple and blue. These, even though they're very thin, I love them because I use them mostly for these floral sprays. I have two and they're very thin, like they don't, they're not wide and they turn out so cute. And you'll see them because I keep a four by six box with most of those already uh, cut out. So they're ready to use. These are purple, that's blue. Yeah, all of these are purple. And blue, 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 blue. All right. Are they all blue? That's garbage. Okay. That was easy. And then I'm gonna take my little scrap bin and put it where it lives, which is underneath this other desk. So under that desk, I keep, I have a milk crate on a planter rolly thing. I don't know what you call it. It's where you put a planter, but it has wheels so that you can move the plants around. So I put my milk crate on that and I have extra paper there because they don't all fill in, they don't all fit in the Ikea cubes. My ultimate goal would be that they all fit over there, but I don't know how long that's gonna take. Okay, so die cuts. And these are my dies. And I organize these. I only have two four by six albums for my dies. And I organize them. However, has it been 10 minutes? It's not been 10 minutes. Okay, Google, turn off, turn off. I know what happened. Before the camera rolled, I set a timer. So hopefully she can run two timers at once. I don't know, technology. Anyway, so they're organized in these two little albums. However, I ran out of the magnetic sheet. So I have to go to Home Depot and get another package so that I can finish. And I still have, look, I have quite a few uh, empty pages there. Not that I'm going to buy any more dies. I don't expect to do that, but we shall see. Then I have these two that are for like tabs, but I don't really like them. I cut them out and I didn't like them. And then this one, what happened to this one? I think I cut it out and it did not work. Was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. I don't think I've tried this one. Anyway, so I'm not really a fan of these two. So I'm just gonna put them in my giveaway um, box because I know myself, I'm not gonna use, that's not the type of tabs that I like, but somebody else might. So I'm gonna put them in this little bag to protect them. One is round and one is more square. And I will put them in my giveaway basket, which I keep right here. I even have a Christmas um, roller stamp. I'm not gonna use it. So let somebody else enjoy it. Okay, so I can't really put these away until I get the magnetic sheet from Home Depot. So I think I'm just gonna run there right now because why not? I don't have anything else to do today. I mean, I do, but I don't want to. 
So that's what I'm gonna do, which is a shame because I was just in the area earlier this morning when I went grocery shopping, but there you go. So I'm gonna put these, I will put them right here on the to-do pile. And then these, they're dusty. I keep in here next to my, this is where I keep my Gemini Junior die cutting machine. Let me make sure I'm putting this. Yeah. I don't want to put it upside down then all the things fall out. Okay. All right. So I like keeping my Gemini Junior there because I don't even have to take it out to use it. I just plug it into the wall and if it fits, my hand goes through here. And it's just perfect. Not messy at all. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick sweep of this area and I will be done for today after I run to Home Depot. Thank you for spending time with me here at the Girl Cave and I wanna give a shout out to Deb and Barbara. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and cleaning your room too. I wish you the best. I'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow. Bye.